This just comes in a plastic here. We're gonna get that plastic film off. After that, there's a little tab down here. It says open there. I have to peel this tab back. It'd be helpful if I brought a knife sometimes. Let me get rid of all that. Pull this tab. Oop. I want you to open it this way. So we're going to flip it open here. And inside, we can see the drone sitting inside of there. It's already put together. Everything's ready. You got this here. This is going to probably be the remote. So it comes in some pretty heavy duty plastic. It's not cheap stuff. There on the back it says unfold the antennas and mobile device clamp. Cool. And it kind of shows you how to do that there, which is pretty neat. Basically you just pop them out like that, just like so. This thing's pretty robust, it's pretty cool. It's got the, it's got all kinds of different things on here. There's the joysticks here, and then you got your power button here, and then you got a little H button there, and then we got a little cord that comes out here that says DJI, which is already plugged in there. It's a different kind of adapter. Kind of looks like a square USB-C. There's a little camera here you can see, and then one here that's for record. And then you got this wheel up here as well. And that's spring loaded, so that kind of pops back when I hit it like that. So that's kind of neat. And if you look under here, we got this little plug here. And that looks like a iPhone plug, which is cool. Then there's these that kind of fold out. All right, like that. And that's going to be for you to put your phone inside of. So this is going to kind of turn your phone into a remote control. From that point, we can plug this in to here. These open up pretty wide too, which is nice. Let me just move the box out of the way for a minute. So these open up pretty wide, and then we can plug this in like that, and that kind of shows back in there. And there's these little drop downs here. You can see these as well. Those just kind of go out of the way. We can kind of like plug our phone in like that, which is super cool. So that's it. So you got your little remote and then this is going to give you your, your screen for flying it and then your buttons and it sits really, really comfy. That's really, really nice. To, it feels great in your hands. This is premium material, guys. This is not cheap stuff. So they're using the best of the best uh, for this, which is very nice. So if you look at it, that's premium. We're going to bring the box back here. Get these out of the way. Just bring the whole box back in and so if we bring the box back here we can see that the drones here and it's all folded up super nice it's got this really nice lens on it that protects it you can see that lens and then inside of there you can see that the camera is on a mount inside of that and then it says please remove the gimbal protector before taking off so you got this little piece of tape that goes all the way around you can remove that and then you can see your propellers inside of here. They're kind of like wrapped together. And there's a QR code on that. So we're going to try not to ruin that. Just kind of peel that off. And then it's got like, it's almost got like these instructions on what to do. So it says, unfold the arms backwards, right? So it's telling us to, well, let's peel this one off too. For the other side of the propellers. So it's saying unfold the arms backwards like this. Okay, so that's step one. And then two is unfold the rear arms downwards. So you kind of pull these down. And they kind of pop like that. 
right there it says charts to activate the vet battery before the first time use and if you look here it shows like a little tray kind of deal so we can peel this back actually it lifts right up and there's the battery you can see the battery inside of there and it just slides out like that that's a pretty good sized meaty battery that goes in there so we can slide the battery back in it kind of locks into place there's a USB-C charger and then there's a little slot for a TF card or a micro SD card as well so you got that we're gonna just peel off this tape this thing just looks cool I mean look how cool that thing looks and it's got these two propellers on each one and you can see the motors inside of there it's got some pretty heavy-duty design to it this thing is not um, a crappy designed drone this is not a, a cheap one so we got this little hinge down here where this lens cover kind of folds back and then uh, like I said your charger your TF slot there's a little light underneath here and uh, I like how it just kind of all folds up folds together that's really cool there's like these little vents that you can see down inside of here that make it look aggressive and just nice and it's DJI so it's good material it says mini SE right there and you can just kind of peel these stickers off get those out of the way but I like how it gives you those kind of instructions because you don't worry so much about breaking it people like me who don't like to read the instructions as much as I should and so that's it so these fold and then these fold down these fold in and then it's real nice and compact. It just fits in this little slot. You can see this tiny little slot that it fits into. So that's the drone itself. And then it comes with this little box. There's all these QR codes everywhere, which is going to give us access to the app, I'm most certain. But if we open this box, you can see inside of here is some more propellers, which is cool in case we break something or hit a tree or who knows, something like that. We get those out of the way and then Inside of here, they give you a USB-A to USB-C charger. It's a pretty nice cable. It's not a cheap cable at all. So that's pretty nice. And they give you a micro USB cable. Not exactly. That's probably, this is probably for the controller where this is for the drum. So they give you that. And then they give you a few of those little thimbles that we saw that came off of there. These guys, which I'm not exactly sure what those are for yet, but we're gonna find out. And then they give you this little tiny screwdriver. Pop that out, there's a little screwdriver there. And that's going to be to put our propellers on if we need to. And then we also get uh, two different cables, and these are going to be for attaching it to different types of phones because you got a USB-C here and then this like square brick USB-C, that's the one that plugs into the drone itself. So that's probably proprietary. And then over here, we got a micro USB to the drone style. So it gives you different options. This is not just for iPhones, which we didn't expect anyways, but it does give you those different options, which is super cool. Too bad I can't fit my iPad mini in that mount. I probably would. So there's some reading material here, getting started guides, basically how to set it up there's the fly app inside of there it's asking you to to download and then another qr code so there's qr codes everywhere you can't really miss them um, so we got to get all that set up and then it tells you how to fly the right way flying your drone for fun some fly safe rules and then just a little bit of reading material here this book is pretty thick so we can go through that a little card that tells you about customer support how to contact DJI, which is always nice in case you have a problem. Get that out of the way. And there's another little pamphlet inside of here. Nothing else inside the box, but it is a nice box. It's nice and sturdy. It's going to protect your drone during shipping. So this is just more about the guarantee. And DJI just makes good products, so we don't have to really worry too much, guys. But we're going to get this thing set up. We're going to take it out there. We're going to fly it. You guys are going to come with us. So let's go. What is up, guys? We are out here with the DJI. Excuse the audio quality. It's going to be depending on whatever this seems to be at this time. 
So we do have the DJI out here. We got it loaded up. We got everything set up so it's just telling us to go fly. It's doing a firmware update right now, so we're going to give it about a half a second to install that. Once that's all set up, then we'll be able to take it out, fly it into these gorgeous mountains. We're going to give you guys some views from the DJI itself once we are able to do that. All I got to say, guys, is holy cow, this thing is amazing. This is not some amateur drone like some toy that you would buy. This thing is legit. It asks you to authorize fly zones. It has different modes. It has C mode. It has sport mode. This, this thing's crazy, guys. It is so accurate. It's so easy to fly. It's just insanely great, guys. So I'm going to see if you can, guys can get... You can see the, the DJI up here on the wall. And I can take off directly from there. And uh, it'll just go, this thing goes so high and so far, it's insane. It just fires up and it goes. And it just hovers. You guys, you guys can see it. It hovers perfectly. Look at that. Okay, look at that. It's perfect. It's just hovering there. I'm not doing anything. This thing tracks perfect. It goes super, super high. It's super fast, super strong. It's got great stabilization. Never seen anything quite like this. I mean, this is my first experience with a real good drone, and this thing's amazing. We're going to shoot it straight up into the air. We're going to go full force. And uh, you guys will be able to see exactly what this thing can do. It goes so high you can't even see it anymore. It's insane the height that you get out of this thing. It's all the way up there. I just slid straight up. It's got a return to home feature, so I can find it, luckily. You guys can probably barely even see it if you can see it right now. Right now it tells me that I'm at 42 meters up. I'm gonna fly it this direction. I don't know if you guys can even still see it. So I'm going to get some recording.
That's all I gotta say. Absolutely, absolutely awesome. And it looks great. I mean, this thing is just a hundred meters up in the air, guys. A hundred freaking meters. It looks wonderful. Not a speck of damage on it. It's not even hot. Battery's low, so it is flashing red at this point. So we're gonna charge it up and fly it some more because this thing is awesome fun. Yeah.